a line passes through two points 0 negative 4 and negative 2 1 what is the slope what is the slope what is the y intercept y intercept is when x is equal to 0 what is the equation of the line plot the line what is the x intercept so we have the line passing through two points 0 negative 4 0 negative 1 0, negative 2, 0, negative 3, 0, negative 4, and negative 2, positive 1, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 0, and negative 2, positive 1. For every two units, you move horizontally to the right. You move down by, do not forget, from here to here is 1, right? So for every two units, you move to the right you go down by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what is slope? Negative 5 over 2. Let us see if we get the same using our formula. Slope of the line is change in y over change in x. Change in x is x2 minus x1. Change in y is y2 minus y1. We are given two points. So we should choose x1, y1, and x2, y2. It doesn't matter how you choose, but make sure it is an ordered pair. You're given x1, you're given x2, you're given y1, you're given y2. Substitute for x1, x2, y1, y2 into delta x and delta y, and what do we get? Delta x is equal to x2 minus x1. x2 is negative 2. So negative 2 minus 0. And that is equal to negative 2. How about delta y? Delta y is change in y. Change in y is, do not forget, it's y2 minus y1. y2 is 1. y1 is negative 4. So what is 1 minus negative 4? What is negative of negative? Positive. So that makes it 1 plus 4, and that is equal to 5. So what is our slope? Delta y over delta x, 5 over negative 2, and that is the same as negative 5 over 2. Next is what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when the line touch the y-axis. On the y-axis, x is equal to 0. On the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So y equals mx plus b, and that makes it y1 equals mx1 plus b. We know, we know y1, we know slope, we know x1, the only unknown is b. And do not forget, we don't have to go through all these, because when x is equal to 0, y equals negative 4. That's already given to you. Just in case you want to know the general approach to doing these problems, this is, this is what you should do. When you substitute negative 4 for y1, negative 5 over 2 for slope, and x1 is 0 plus b, so what do we get? b is equal to negative 4. Part c, what is the equation of the line? So we already now know what is b. b is negative 4. Now go back to y is equal to mx plus b. What is m? We know that as well. So substitute for m, leave x as it is, and then substitute for b. And so we get negative 5 over 2x plus negative 4. Plot the line x equals negative 1, x equals negative 2, y equals positive 1. So this is negative 2, positive 1. And what is this? 0, negative 4. Do not forget, the slope is negative 5 over 2 because for every two steps you take to the right, 1, 2. How much do you go down? You go down by negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So your slope is negative 5 over 2.
what is the x intercept once you have y is equal to negative 5 over 2x minus 4 as the equation of the line substitute y is equal to 0 and solve for x because on the x-axis y is equal to 0 on the x-axis y is equal to 0 on the x-axis y is equal to 0 so substitute y is equal to 0 so negative 5 over 2x minus 4 add 4 to both sides so you get 4 equals negative 5 over 2x multiply both sides by 2 and you get 8 equals negative 5x or x equals negative 8 over 5 x equals negative 8 over 5. So what is our point? Negative 8 over 5, 0. That is our x-intercept point. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.